can make sonic booms from anything. This sonic boom is made from this. The lowest note on the piano. All I did was reshape the envelope, if you'd like, so that it, it doesn't have a piano shape. It's more of a quick decay to just a very soft sustain, so it sounds more drum-like. Still got a little bit of the sustain in there. So first thing I did was then send that to a bus, take it out of stereo out. And the reason for that is I'm automating the piano sound, but don't want to automate the effects. I'm hoping for something a little bit not pitched, more kind of doomy, boomy. So what I've done is I've taken it down eight semitones with this pitch plugin, applied a massive low pass filter, and then some sub bass for extra welly underneath. But that sounds like something mysterious going on in the house next door. So I wanted to add some upper harmonics and there's different ways you can do that, but I've decided on distortion to make it kind of rougher. And it should just give a little crisp top end uh, that will be, well, I'll get back to that in a sec. And then just tons of reverb. giving us that Blade Runnery sound. Now to prove my point that you can make booms from anything, I'm gonna go into the kitchen. And what I've done is I've actually taken them down in pitch in what's called classic mode in Logic, where it actually just slows it down to take down the pitch. So what hopefully will happen here is I'll make it a bit thumpier, a bit deeper, a bit darker, less recognizable, but also it, it will extend the sustain of the room. So the room doesn't sound as small. It now sounds more like an, it's in a corridor. Okay, so let's put a low pass. Sub bass. Now it's there, we just need to bring it out. And then gonna add the upper harmonics with the, the distortion. Just that little. And then loads of reverb. So let's hear what those sound like. And then just putting the microphone down. Now, I just want to play you those without distortion to show you what I'm doing there. So dishwasher, cupboard, cupboard two, door, bin, and mic. I think those sound awesome, work really well in the cinema, really well probably in a computer game environment because they tend to be spec'd out quite well, playing on headphones or surround speakers. But we live in a multi-device universe and unfortunately on these things, iPhones, you're just not gonna hear those. Let me just imitate the cutoff of an iPhone. So they, I mean, they're audible, but they have a very different effects, a very different emotional impact even. So I'm going to try with distortion. For me, it's not really the, the attack, it's the way that the distortion excites the reverb. Let's try another method. What I'm going to do is get that pitch plugin back. I'm going to dial in two four hundreds. So that's two octaves up. And I've done this so many times, I know that it's 5%. It's all you need, just a tiny bit of something going on. Let's hear what it sounds like at 100%. If we just put it at five, and if we take the little cut off of the phone off, and then just put the mic down. What was your favorite out of those booms? Did you prefer it with the pitch on or the distortion on? No excuses, grab a mic, doesn't have to be a good mic, SM57 will do you. Head into your kitchen, make your own sonic booms.